Good morning. Happy day three of Vlogmas. Hello and welcome back to Vlogmas. If I didn't know what to do yesterday, I definitely do not know what to do today. Today is pretty much like my chore day at home. So I have like a lot of cleaning to do, but that's not fun for anyone. So I don't know, I'm just gonna kind of wing it. I don't really have a plan for today. I'll just take you along for whatever I'm really doing. That's kind of what's going on. It's gonna just be a chill day of house stuff. Maybe a little bit of plant stuff. I really could not tell you. It's also another one of those days where I am starting at 2 p.m. Because when I tell you I had a crazy morning, that's an understatement. So here we are. With all that being said, let's, I guess, just get started on whatever I'm doing today. Which is probably just work and cleaning. Enjoy! He has been such a cuddle bug this morning. Like, I don't know... Oh my god. I don't know what to do. I have to wash my sheets because he gets them so hairy, even just by sleeping with me once. So I definitely have to wash the sheets, but like how can I possibly ask him to get off the bed? He's just too cute. everything and realized I really didn't have much else to do today so I called on all of you on Instagram to help me out and we're gonna do a fun little Q&A. Jonah's joining us also in the back. Question number one, what Scorpio stereotypes do I agree with? I can't, I don't have a good answer. So just come to that question. You can like not do one question. That's kind of messed up. <laughs> Next question. Do you feel less enthusiastic about your plants during the winter or is it just me? I will actually disagree with you. I feel like in the winter, I lean on my plants a lot. They keep me really occupied and I just really don't like the winter time. So they keep me a little bit happier. And if anything, like I pay more attention to my plants during the winter time. I get what you're saying because they're probably growing a little bit less right now. But in general, I actually usually pay more attention to my plants in the winter time. That's just me though. Next question. How are your Syngoniums doing? And what are your goals for 2021? So my Syngonium, um, that's a bit of a toss up. Some are doing really well. So my Syngonium Albo, for example, is doing perfect as usual love her no problems at all but my syngonium confetti is giving me the hardest time ever i've lost so much foliage like i don't even want to share with you all what that plant is looking like because it's a little bit sad we're kind of like 50 50 on the syngonium no i would give myself 75 25 on the syngonium we're doing better than not if that makes sense and then goals for 2021 i do have some but that's actually a future video so i will put a pin in that question what did you study in college and when did you graduate slash leave i studied entertainment and arts management at drexel with a minor in business administration. So that's what I studied. That is not really what I do right now, but that's okay. And I graduated in 2019. If you could do a collab with another plant YouTuber, who would it be? I felt like I would want to do a collab with either Dea. Dea seems so cool. Dea, if you're watching this, 
And then also Fern. I don't know, she just seems really cool and I love her plants and I find her videos very relaxing. So I would love to do a collab with her, but I think that that's a bit out of reach. Our people will contact your people. Yeah, we'll, we'll be in touch, Fern. Don't even, don't even stress. When did you get into plants? Was it quarantine's fault? Actually, no, not to brag, but I was ahead of the trend a little bit. I don't know, I kind of, I was into plants in high school. So I didn't really like go so deep into it. I just knew I liked plants. So I kept like a little plant corner, but that plant corner was kind of just me cycling through plants because I would just kill them. And then in college I had a couple like cacti and succulents i couldn't go crazy in college for the most part because i would like transfer dorms and then i moved i switched colleges so i didn't have a huge plant collection but senior year of college is when i actually started to really bring a lot of plants home and then it just skyrocketed over the past like year for me. Definitely an uptick in quarantine, but it did not start there. The channel did, however. What is your favorite place in Philly? Oh my gosh, I love this question so much. Jonah, what's your favorite place in Philly? That's a hard one. <sighs> I feel like we should just name like a couple places we're really like. We're really into like eating out and food. So I think that's like going to be a couple, but I would say Liberty Kitchen for a good hoagie. Yowie for just anything cool. The rail park. The rail park that just opened up. I also love the hammocks at, what is it called? Spruce Street Harbor Park. Spruce Street's Harbor Park. Spruce Street Harbor Park. Spruce Street Harbor Park. <laughs> love that place. Because get this, it's hammocks with food trucks near it and alcohol with Wi-Fi. It's like you don't have to leave and there's no time limit. You just have to get to a hammock. Anyway, I would say that that's a lot of them, right? Uh, oh, and like Pashunk Square. Yeah, and Pashunk Square. That's where Ill Exotics is. Okay, I have to cut us off, otherwise we'll keep going. How can you tell the difference between Philodendron Hope, Xanadu, Shangri-La, and Deja Vu? I get why that you think that they look similar because they do have like some similar features, but I'll try to find pictures of each one. You really just have to look at the, the leaf shape, honestly. There are some differences in the foliage really, and I think that the pictures that I'll put on the screen will help you out. I don't have all of them to show you, otherwise I would just do a demo. Where do you see yourself in five years? I feel like me and Jonah will probably have a different apartment with a puppy. Maybe engaged? Probably engaged. Probably engaged. House. House? Yeah, like a city house. Yeah. Oh, city house. And YouTube full time? Million dollars? Yeah. Hopefully just happy. Right, Jonathan? Ah. Okay, how many plants do you currently have? I counted a little while ago and it was just over 75. So I would actually say I'm circling around 100 at this point. However, I did actually lose some plants recently because winter. So I would I would say somewhere between 75 and 100. Right, Jonah? Yeah, if, if I had to guess, I was gonna say 90. 90? Yeah. What is my current favorite slash fastest growing plant? I would say my favorite actually, like I'm kind of looking around. My philodendron silver sword has actually been a huge source of happiness for me. That plant is probably my favorite right now, besides the Syngonium Albo, obviously. And then my fastest growing plant. Your mic can do the kitchen. No, my mic is kind of slowed down after I yeah, put it on the floor. Stupid Joma. Honestly, this plant. My Tritoscantia Zebrina. Look at this thing. When I got it, I'll put in footage a clip of when I first got it. It was literally just like this one little like bit and now it's like a whole full plant and I have propagations from it. No, no plant grows like Tritoscantia, honestly. So that's definitely my fastest growing plant right now. Okay, so that's it for the questions, I think. It was kind of an impromptu one, so I didn't really like give a whole lot of time for questions to to come flooding my inbox, but those are the highlights. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm, I'm, hey, 
Hey friend! Hey, it's so good to see you again! You yeah, I'm ready to rain! I don't know this place. I'm in Jonah's room and he has cool lights, but thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had some fun and I will see you tomorrow. We actually have an exciting video in store, so no more cleaning. No more cleaning. Ready everyone? Say bye! Bye! bye.